Have you ever created a toolpath and then go to preview it and then it starts to preview and you realize maybe you messed something up, whether you chose the wrong tool or you did the wrong settings with your toolpath. You can see sometimes the toolpaths take a little bit longer to preview. And especially if you have a very slow computer, this can be very time consuming to just sit here and wait for the toolpath to end. So in this video, I'm going to show you a real quick and easy way to stop a toolpath. And then I'm also going to show you another trick inside of the toolpath settings. So as you can see, this toolpath is going very slow. Let's say maybe we messed something up. We want to stop it right here. The easy way to do that is at the very bottom of the screen, you can see the progress bar. And then there's a little tiny red X on the right side. Just click that little red X and that will stop the toolpath right where it's at. And now that lets you do whatever you need to do. You can move around. You could go back to your toolpath settings. And then you can also preview the toolpath again by using the buttons up here. Okay, so let's say maybe we did something wrong with our toolpath. We can just click reset and then double click on the toolpath to edit. And now you can make any changes you need to do and then click calculate and then you'll be back to previewing your toolpath. And this technique also works within the toolpath as well. So let's say we had this set to offset and we actually wanted to raster but we weren't paying attention to this. And then we click calculate. You will see the progress bar at the bottom. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer to calculate, especially the 3D tool pass. So just click that little red X at the very bottom again. That will stop the calculation. And then we could switch what we wanted to do. And let's say we wanted it 90 degrees for the angle. And now click calculate. And then we would let this one go through all the way. And you'll see the 3D toolpaths generally take a little bit longer to calculate. Okay, and then once it's calculated, we can go back to our preview and preview it. And now we can see if the changes were as expected and what we wanted to do. If not, we can always click that red X again to stop the toolpath and redo the settings that we need to. Okay, so hopefully this tip helped you out. I know it's a very simple one, but it is one that will save you a lot of time, especially if your computer is very slow and you don't want to sit through all these toolpath previews. Another way to speed up your toolpaths is by going into your toolpath settings at the top. And let me just stop this here. You can switch the simulation quality. So by default, you want it at standard to be the fastest. And then if you want a better preview, you can turn it up and that will make it go a little bit slower, but it'll have a much clearer view. So these are more settings you can play with and you'll see if I switch it to standard and preview that same toolpath, you'll see how quick it previews. Except if you zoom in, it's going to be a lot blurrier than it was before. Okay, so those are just some quick tips to help you out on speeding up your toolpath previews and your toolpath creations. If those tips help you out, make sure you like and subscribe for more.